Graham Nation here from Flights of Odyssey bringing you a video guide on how to spot fake vans old schools. Now, there's going to be fakes out there that are quite obvious. However, the ones I'll be focusing on are the vans old school replicas. Are you able to tell which one of these is the real one and which one is the fake one? In this video, you're going to find out all the ways to tell the real vans from the fake ones. The first indicator that your vans might be fake is the price in which you paid for them. The retail price usually ranges from $60 to $80 depending on store pricing and or promotional sales. Anything under that is sure to be fake unless they are purchased used or second hand. Be cautious of online shopping because places like China have reproduction facilities that specialize in an imitation goods. To ensure your shoes are legit, shop from a local sporting store or a licensed van retailers. The first thing that you'll notice is the box. Real boxes have a flap. Which closes perfectly. There's also a product label at the end of the box that indicates brand, shoe size, type, as well as a barcode that can be scanned to reveal some information. The fake boxes do not contain such information. But don't be fooled though, as fake shoes can still come in real boxes. Examine the stitching and thread on the shoes. Real vans have tight, evenly spaced stitching. There should be no signs of wear, tear, or fraying. The spots you want to look for are right here. On the toe box, real vans come to a slight point right here. Whereas on the fake ones, it is simply a straight line. Along the stripe, there's two things you should note. The first is the stitching right here. On real vans, they come up and go on a straight angle bend. While on the fakes, it is simply just a curved stitching pattern. The second is on the back of the stripe. So as you go towards the heel, real vans will have this double stitching layer on the stripe itself that goes all the way up. While the fakes do not, they have one stitching and one stitching right above the stripe. Real vans also have eight eye holes for your laces, while the fakes have seven. And sometimes the fakes will include metal rings in their eye holes as well. Another giveaway to tell whether your shoes are real or fake is the padding in the tongue. Real Vans shoes have black padding on the tongue, as well as a label that looks like this. Fake Vans do not have any padding, and the label looks something like this. If you look at the inside, there should be a Vans logo. This logo should be solid black and show no signs of discoloration or fading. 
the V in the logo should also be always pointing towards the front of the shoe. On th fake Vans, the V appears near the heel. If you look at the laces of the shoe, real Vans laces are sturdy and durable, while the fakes are weak and brittle. Another dead giveaway that your shoes might be fake is the sole. On the bottom of Vans sneakers, there should be two patterns. A diamond pattern interlocking into a hexagonal pattern, followed by more diamonds. The color on real ones is also a more lightish brown. Whereas the fake ones are more yellowish orange. Now on the bottom of the sole, near the top of the foot, there are factory codes. These factory codes are two to three digits and can be found here. The same code is actually found on the product label, on the box, as well as a sticker in the inside of the box. I have here now a fake old school that's been worn and a real one. Now the best way to tell a difference is after some wear. The fakes are going to wear out extremely fast. The sole is going to break apart. You'll see the materials separating from one another after some light wear. You also notice that the sole becomes a lot weaker in such that you can squeeze the sole and the sneaker collapses. Real Vans will last much longer and the soles can withstand a lot more punishment. As when you squeeze them, they do not collapse as easily. Now another indicator that your shoes could be fake is the back near the heel. Vans have the little red logo, sometimes black and white or red, depending on which ones you have. The label should be small, like this. Fake ones are much more bigger. And sometimes, if you look carefully, you can even see that the logo isn't even on them that well.